Now this is uh, my bullpen. This is where we do all the game planning and working on business. Got to throw my belt up in here because it's just like going into a, a title fight, just a fight in general is that got to have a game plan to get, sh get shit done, you know? This is my first fight against Hannon Burrell. These are actually the fight worn gloves that I wore in that fight. The biggest moment of my entire life coming from an eight to one underdog being the guy that had never been beaten. Like, you know, I came out and whooped his ass and that's the exact same picture of the same night. Kind of cool bird's eye view, like me just holding my arms up. It's really cool to actually go through here and find like my family, my friends, like everyone's celebrating at the exact moment that they stopped to the fight. These are some of the most uh, memorable posters, fight posters for me. First time I was ever on a pay-per-view card. This was the first title defense from that fight. This is the, when I won the belt the second time against Cody Garbrandt. And this is when I defended the belt against Garbrandt. And then this was a very big, important fight for me. I blew my knee out, completely destroyed my knee in the first round. I felt like I got hit by a truck the next day but was able to get the win, you know? And then this is a fucked fight where I sh beat Dominic Cruz, but the judges robbed me of the, the fight. It was a split decision loss. Pretty much just stealing millions of dollars out of my pocket. So I like to put that one up there just to piss me off when I'm in here in the gym working out, you know? Cause that one really uh, rubs me the wrong way. This is the training lab. This is the reason why I moved back down to Southern California and started working with Coach Cal. This is where we're using the hyperbaric chambers, red light beds, the cryotherapy. Coach Cal works with Penn State specifically. He's helped him out for like the last decade and they've been the most dominant wrestling program for the last decade. This, uh, this room here we use for testing our athletes, testing their RMRs, which is your respiratory rate and what you're burning at rest. And then we throw them on the treadmill or the bike to reach their VO2 max, which is your max threshold for your lactic acid buildup and finding out where those crossover points are for burning fats or carbs for energy. You know, you wanna be a fat burning machine. It's the healthiest way to be and you don't produce lactic acid when you're burning fat for energy. So this is a hyperbaric chamber. It's a pressurized chamber that you sit in for 60 to 90 minutes and breathe 98% oxygen at different pressures. Great from recovery from sport or injuries. Like I said, going into surgery. If I can actually make my uh, my tissues a lot healthier before surgery and make it easier on the surgeon and then after surgery to get rid of inflammation and, and flush things out. Transcend does a very good job of customizing your program and going off of your blood work and what your body's doing, what it's not doing. I'm on a pretty good protocol, but it's all as natural as you possibly can, right? I'm taking branched chain amino acids that are put in a perfect way to signal to my brain to do things that I need to do. I like to do about three days a week. Like if I'm pushing a super hard lactic threshold training or lifting really heavy, I won't want to get into the cold plunge because it will minimize the inflammation that I actually need to make growth. Like I'll do it first thing in the morning when I wake up. It's better than a cup of coffee. I usually like to go on for about five minutes. They say around three to five. I like to go five. It's cold. It's just the first minute. Five minutes later. I like to sit in the sun after the cold plunge, heat back up a little bit, soak in some vitamin D. Hope you guys enjoyed a little sneak peek of a uh, day in the life and uh, learned a little bit of information about Transcend. Hope we can do this again.